Hi everyone, Dr. Nicole here and welcome back to our Voyage to Vitality series. Today I am going to talk about what I like to call the dental story. If anyone has ever had a lot of dental work done, they know exactly what I'm talking about once I start going through it. So let's get there. So most people are wonderful toothbrushers when they're children. They floss, they brush perfectly for the whole two minutes, they know exactly how to use a toothbrush. That is not true at all. Most children barely brush their teeth and fight with their parents to even have it done. So as children, what happens is, is we leave what I like to call plaque, AKA schmutz on the tooth. Okay. So these are my Bob Ross teeth. We're going to go on a timeline here of the tooth story. Okay. So when you leave schmutz on the tooth, it normally stays right where the gum and the tooth meet. Okay. If it stays there for around 24 hours, for about one, one day, what happens is, is the bacteria in your mouth, and everybody's mouth has bacteria, it doesn't matter who you are, good, bad, or ugly, it's there, okay? That bacteria will attach to the schmutz or the plaque, and it will poop out something. And most of the time they poop out acid, okay? When they poop out acid, that acid will actually sit right up against the side of the tooth, okay? When it sits against the side of the tooth, what it will do is it actually burns a hole into the side of the tooth, allowing the bad bacteria in your mouth to go through that hole into the center of the tooth, creating a cavity. So all a cavity really is, it is the breakdown of the tooth because bacteria gets into the center of the tooth and causes damage, all right? So when this happens and we see it, what does a, de does a dentist tell you? The dentist tells you, sorry, ah, that you should have a filling done. So what they do is they go in and they'll put a filling in the tooth like this, right? How exciting. Well, that doesn't really solve the problem. What then happens is, is you just keep on eating, you keep on brushing or lack thereof, as I should say, and you get more schmutz on the area, right? And you're gonna get another hole burned in and then you need another filling when you're told, oh, I need another filling. So then you get a bigger filling, right? Well, the filling can get so large that the dentist then says to you, oh, well, you don't just need another filling now, you need a crown. So the dentist goes in and what they'll do is they'll put a crown on the tooth. So I like to say that teeth that have crowns have little crosshairs because they're fancy. So we'll crosshair that bad boy. So that's a crown, okay? Well, most people don't realize, but about 20 to 30% of teeth that have crowns put on them, they actually have the nerve die in the tooth. So when the nerve dies in the tooth, you get infection at the end, right? So then what does the dentist tell you? Oh, well then the dentist tells you that you need a root canal. So you have a crowned tooth, all right, that you spent a lot of money and time on, right? And now you have a root canal. Well, most people don't realize this, but root canals are just kind of like little Dutch boys in the dam. They do not last forever. The point of the root canal is to give you more time with the tooth before it needs to come out. So sadly, at some point, another infection will come back, all right? and the tooth will ultimately be lost. It needs to come out. So why am I saying this? Why am I telling you this? What I'm getting at here is that this is the sad story of dental disease that many people have experienced, many people have been frustrated with, and they're, they, they, they know that something is wrong, okay? So what I'm getting at and showing you here is that dentists are hooligans. And I don't mean that they're bad. What I'm getting at is that dentistry and what we do doesn't actually treat the root cause of the disease. Okay. What we're actually doing is we're treating just a symptom. The real cause of all dental issues can be broken down into three basic things. The first one is bacteria. This is the bacteria that causes cavities. It causes gum disease. It causes inflammation. It causes problems in the foundation of our mouth. The second one is how much force you place on your teeth. This is from how your teeth come together. And the last one is body problems. If you have any systemic issues, they will absolutely have a direct effect on your mouth. For example, 
diabetes, thyroid problems, medications that you're taking, autoimmune diseases, sleep apnea, all of these things directly affect your mouth. So the key thing is, is that when you work with your dentist to try to get healthier and stay healthy and be in only maintenance care, is that if anything happens, you need to treat the root cause of the disease. Okay, so let me recap. The three root causes of disease are bacteria. So you need to get the bacteria under control. That makes the foundation healthy. You need to make sure you're not putting too much force on the teeth. Okay, that's with the chewing system. And last but not least is making sure that your systemic health or your body health is not having a negative effect on your mouth. If you have any questions or want to discuss this further, please feel free to give us a call. But till then, keep on brushing.